even if you're not going to use this in a comp, it's a good way of warming up because it's a quick movement and being quick with triple extension in strongman, I think stones, sandbags, any type of clean is a good idea. Let's go. Not bad at all, do you know? So if you see the power clean, it's one motion up to the chest. We're not doing any counter movement. Counter movement's good for big weights. This is better for speed. Okay. So one thing neither of them did quite right was they didn't get triple extension. I tend to think of it as two speeds. So once it comes to the knee, it's slow, slow, and then you explode, but did you see my heels? Boom! And then it will roll up even quicker. Can you do another one? Yep. Cheers. Can you do it right? <laughs> so, sorry? The thumbs will be like that, and as it comes up, you see how I just I went round? Yeah. Slow. Bang! Hey! Nearly took his head off. Much better. Dino, do you mind doing it as well? Yep. See if you can fix it. Slow, and then hit it. Two speeds when you're learning this. If you try and go too quickly, the timing is terrible. Think of it as deadlift slow and then triple extension quick. Bang! Good man. Even if you're not going to use this in a comp, it's a good way of warming up because it's a quick movement and being quick with triple extension in strongman, I think stones, sandbags, any type of clean is a good idea. So again, when I warm up, I tend to throw in a few hand cleans. We had one guy who was... He was getting up to 150, and it's every clean on his squat clean was just really labored and slow. So in his warm-ups, he has to do two cleans, uh, two power cleans up to, say, 100. And all of a sudden, his 150 clean is moving quicker. So it's a good way of improving explosivity, but also ramping up your nervous system, exciting your nervous system to then lift more. So if we do a set of three, everybody, on the power clean, and we'll just watch the technique, okay? Okay. <laughs> 